Although it all looked like white water, especially the port side, which is reef, the main channel was visible by smoother seas caused by wind with tide. And then the weather turned bad. There's been a small craft advisory uh, issued, and there's reported um, 60 knot gusts. There are consequences to the relentless pounding flow, as Tarka's bow falls off one wave and slams into the next. One of those is that there was no hope of either of us staying dry. Bill is still on the road uh, trying to finish fixing the raft that we got around the gym. In the previous episode, the winter sailing season and the polar night began. And in this one, we find ourselves surrounded by ice and northern lights. It's gotten windy. We're at uh, 27 gusts in 30. Watch this one again. Oh my god, this is not nice. 
this should mean that the warm front is passing and the cold front is to come. I am not a fan of those waves. Like, at all. They are big. Um, they're not consistent. And I feel like they're just getting bigger. morning of day 9 and we have constant 30 knots the reef the jib like all the way to the third reef so we just have a little sliver out it's exhausting man the body just gets beat 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 the boat is making noise and like i don't know it's just scary to hear right all this sometimes it's scary i don't think we're hurting yellows though no none of the lines are shaking Sales holding up pretty good at that reef. Sailing is hard, getting it on video is harder, but going to the toilet, the worst. Ooh, easy pissy. Means a lot of work around the mast, and in heavy seas this is a dangerous place to be. So sometimes postponing is tempting, gambling at the remaining sail area will overlive the expected wind increasement. to get that water and see uh, waterborne uh, in these waves. Uh, but let's try. Oh, shit. <laughs> Until I finally could see the cliffs rising up in the horizon. Better but not beaten. I had again made it over the North Sea battlefield. <laughs> 